Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today is a sad day for me. I'm sure others can relate. I hate taking down my Christmas decorations. Not because necessarily the work it entails, but mainly because this is my favorite holiday and my favorite time of year and I really, really struggle with this every single time. But anyway, I'm sure I'm not the only one. Let's jump right into this late Christmas cleanup. So first I'm going to walk around and show you guys my decorations and how they were set up. I didn't get a chance to film a video with a house tour with my Christmas decorations so I'm just going to do a little mini one here. These are some of my favorite pieces in my kitchen. Um, a lot of it's from Dollar Tree, a lot of it's from my grandmother, and a lot of it is stuff from my mom that she's bought me over the years knowing that I have such a love for Christmas. Um, here is some pretty white poinsettias. Those are from Michael's. This is my little table centerpiece. It's so cute. It's got the scented pine cones in the glass hurricane vases. And then some real um, branches from a Christmas tree that I made into a wreath. And then I put some fairy lights in them as well as you could see on my coffee table there. Here you can see my pretty little mantle with my nutcrackers, um, a little DIY I made you can see in another video, I'll link that down below, and then my stockings and my little town. Here is our beautiful little tree. Uh, the angel is so bright you can't even see it, but don't pay any attention to the ornaments that are on here right now. They're all jumbled up from trying to be put away. Uh, we tried to do like an all white and silver tree, but you can't really tell in that video. And this piece right here is by far my absolute favorite Christmas decoration that I own. This is new this year from my mom. Um, we've always loved nativity scenes and especially ones where the baby Jesus can be removed because we like to have the manger empty and then put him in on Christmas Day but look how detailed this is I mean I just I really struggled to put that away this year because I just loved it so much and it made me so happy to look at so I really wanted to share that on this video Okay, this little mini tree is in our master bedroom. It does look really funny. It's all of our sentimental ornaments that we've gotten throughout the years. We like to get one ornament per year that is either our favorite or kind of sums up that year in our life. So all of these are ones from like my childhood. I collect mermaid things. So look at all of these like princesses and yeah, this is just our little fun tree, so we do a mini one in our master bedroom. Alright, so now that you've seen some of my favorite decorations, we're going to move right along into putting them away. Um, I felt like the stair railing was probably the easiest place to start. This brings me into a great tip, which is start with something manageable. It's always hard to get started with a project, whether it's organizing or putting something away or doing something you hate, like putting away Christmas decorations that makes you sad. So always start with something small, something manageable, something you can get done and immediately see results. And if you're anything like me, once you complete that task, you immediately see those results and you just want to keep going and getting it all done. Another thing I like to always remember is it gets worse before it gets better. Don't lose hope. I mean, it's going to look crazy for a little bit, but it will be gone. Just keep that in mind. Just keep envisioning the end result and let that push you forward. 
this clip is not something I like to admit, but this is the reality. This is what it looked like in real life, and it was crazy, but we got it done eventually. This is one of the two homemade wreaths that I made with Christmas tree clippings this year. This was the first year I did it, so I was really proud of these. Um, they were super easy to make. I just took some of the tree clippings and tied them together with some wire. And I mean, they lasted all season. They still look great even when I threw them away. So I'm definitely going to be doing these again next year. In the meantime, bye bye for now. Now for my favorite part of the video, get creative with your storage. Get organized so it's easier to store and take out and decorate for next year. Um, there are plenty of organization things you can buy for your Christmas decorations. They have really good ones out there um, on Amazon, Walmart. There are things that look like similar to this that hold each ornament but they are super expensive and they don't hold a lot. Also, um, there are light organizers, which I have seen, and I'll show you how to make those also. But basically for this, this was a super cheap project. We all have leftover cardboard boxes from Christmas, so I just cut up some of those to fit my bin here, attached Dollar Tree cups, and then just filled it with my ornaments. Um, I did wrap my cardboard and wrapping paper just to make it more festive and pretty, but that's totally personal preference. I was really happy with the way this turned out. This holds a ton of ornaments and it keeps them so safe. And like I mentioned, I did make a similar organizing situation for my lights. I took some more cardboard, wrapped it with um, leftover wrapping paper, and I wrapped my light strands around each one of those. And then I labeled each one to make it easier for myself next year. Like say if I have two icicle lights, I'll say icicle lights one of two. That way I just know how many go where. When the time comes again next year to decorate, you can just take this little cardboard sheet out with your light strand, plug it into the wall. Super easy to make sure each strand works. If it doesn't, you just toss it. It's no big deal. But when you keep your lights organized and safe like this, it's harder for them to get damaged or a bulb to get broken. These are awesome for storing garland as well. Each one you make the same, cut out a piece of cardboard, wrap it with wrapping paper, cut a slit in the top, and then make sure you tape that slit on both sides so it doesn't come frayed or anything like that. Don't forget to make a couple extras. If you have brand new lights, just throw away the box they came in and store them in this bucket also, there's no need to wrap them up. Another hack that I absolutely love is to take a sandwich bag and just store all of your extra lights and extra fuses and little blinkers and all that together in a bag and then tape it to the box lid. That way you don't lose them. And you always know where to go to get a replacement. So for everything else, I bought a couple of these gigantic containers from Walmart. I liked the red color. I liked that they weren't see-through. I don't want any see-through containers. It's very important to me to not be able to see the junk inside unless it looks pretty, like my lights and ornaments. So I got these. They hold so much stuff. I was blown away by the amount of stuff they hold. And of course, they're so big they can get very heavy, so they have wheels on the bottom, which is nice. However, these are very deep and very nice, but you don't want to just go and throw stuff in here. Christmas stuff is 9 times out of 10 very delicate and breakable, so you definitely have to wrap that stuff up. You can use leftover bubble wrap or anything from Christmas gifts, but make sure you do that and go that extra step because we all have a tendency to just throw things in a container like this, but you definitely still want to be organized not only to save yourself time and aggravation next year, but to make sure your stuff is well taken care of and not broken. Okay guys, that is it for this video. I hope these tips were very helpful and motivating for you. I know I'm not the only one 
who has just now cleaned up their Christmas stuff. So I hope this motivates you to get up and just get it over with. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you in my next one. Bye.